What's up, John here? I'm just pretty much been looking for a bike for the last month and I'm trying to find a good deal and I found this today. Uh, I was at the office, short day today, and I saw this little gem over here. And basically, he had a little accident with the bike going 10 miles an hour. I read the description right here, basically stating why. And he's selling it as is. I'm going into the conversation, and obviously I have to blob that out. And then, you know, I said, are you available today? Yes, it's available. I can meet blah, blah, blah. He said, okay, okay. So his responses by saying, okay, okay, kind of like creeped me out. I thought he was a scammer because he was like, really good deal. So I tried to set up a time. Set up for 11, he wanted a little bit sooner. I got stuck talking to my supervisor a little longer. I was trying to leave because my daughter is here for her last day. And so I was like, all right, this looks like a really good deal. Send me his number. And the funny thing about this, this thing was the, uh, the fact that you can use US phone book to look up numbers. Um, not teaching the bad guys how to do this because they already know how to do this. In fact, I'm teaching you how to be better. So, I looked him up with the phone number, found out his address, his name, everything match. And because I'm an anti-terrorism officer for the government, I was a little, like, weaked out, like, because I've been scammed before. And I was like, maybe these are some Indian people, and they know how to text from the number and know how to look people up. And I was just, like, creating all these stories in my head, like, this is a scam. Shit's too good to be true, damn it. Well, he gave me his address, it matched whatever. I'm like, well, oh, worst case scenario, I'll show up, it's nothing, and I gave him a shot of having a really cheap bike. Show up, guy's super nice. I tell him I just don't have the cash, but I gotta get it from the bank. As I'm leaving, somebody else shows up. The guy looks like, got this mean face. It looks like he's sweating because he wanted to get there before me. Uh, I asked the seller how much he would, what's the lowest he would go. He said 1500 And I'm like, and he's like, is that okay? I'm like, yes, it's okay. It's your bike is whatever you want, man. Like, you know, I, I work, I do what I do with the army because I want you to have the freedom to do what you want and I respect it. Go to the bank, four minutes away, get the cash. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna play it safe and I'm just gonna get the 1600 bucks in case the other guy offers him full price and he might, you know, money talks. It's just the reality of things. When I came back, he's like, oh man, I don't know what to tell the guy. He's like, are you coming back? He, they got cash. And I was like, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Show up. The other two guys were in the car. They look kind of mean. So honestly, he probably felt like he didn't want to sell it to them. So I show up and I was like, here, here's the envelope from the bank, 1600 bucks. And I was like, I, I'll give you the $600 because you honor your word. And I and I respect that. I, I honestly respect the word, somebody going through with their word of our money. Fuck money. I make more money. But ended up getting the bike. I'm on my way to pick up my daughter. We're going to go to a U-Haul. And this is going to be a nice little journal of putting this baby together. It's going to be so much fun, guys. Thank you for um, all the subscriptions and watching my channel. Uh, I love tinkering and I love recording my adventures. And I try, just try to copy as much as I can. So here we go. Let's get it, let's get it going.